Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at the new Portable Painter Micro. Um, this was launched on an Indiegogo fundraiser, I believe. It, might have all, it was on Indiegogo and it might have also been on Kickstarter, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, this is from the folks that brought you the Portable Painter and I've just been using mine. Um, and I just want to kind of do an overview or review so you can see it, see if it's something that would be useful to you. Now this is small. If you look at, you can look my, my, um, my mat here has inch cutting grids there, so you can kind of get an idea of how big it is. This one has water in it because I just used it, kind of murky water. Um, and it's pretty small and comfortable to hold. It doesn't take up much space on the table if you're painting at a cafe. Uh, so it's a neat little rig. And um, this goes for $16 for one on Indiegogo, I think two for 30. And I haven't seen it for sale in any shops yet, but generally um, their products are available for sale in shops after, um, after the fundraising portion is done. So I thought, I would uh, kind of show you a brand new one uh, because they did send me some because I had mentioned that this was coming out and um, as a thank you they sent me a couple and let's take a look here. So it comes in a little pouch which is really cute and this is what it looks like. You can see that it's about three inches by two and a half, two and a quarter inches so it would fit in your pocket really easily or in a purse or you know dashboard, you know any small little space. I'd say it's about, well I can measure it, it's about an inch thick. And uh, what you do is you open it up. It's a nice thick, um, a nice thick plastic, so it shouldn't crack or break on you. It doesn't feel brittle at all. And then you pull out this insert here, and you can see on the bottom of this is a little finger hole. You probably would hold it kind of like that. You obviously couldn't put your finger through it. Um, I think it'd probably be more handy to have it like that if you're going to hold it at all. Uh, I think it's kind of difficult not to spill the water if you're holding it, but if you were standing up somewhere and you had an easel to hold your your paper pad and you were urban sketching, I think it would probably be fine to hold it like that. Um, but if you're sitting in a cafe, I would definitely sit it on the table so you don't spill it all over your, <laughs> your stuff. Uh, then you can open it up like that and you can see that it comes with six half pans. And then what you do is you slide this on to the bottom storage area and that's your water area. There's a couple little ridges in there for cleaning your brush and then you can take the lid and that will slide in on this side. Now you can swap those around so if you want to have, you know, if you want to hold it differently, you want to have the uh, the water on the other side, you could do that. See, I could swap this around if I wanted to. I mean, I don't really, I guess you just, you know, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, whatever is more comfortable for you to hold. Like I could put the water thing over here. There's a little thing on each side. Just depends on on what you want, really. Like this feels awkward to me, but I bet it probably if you were maybe if you were left-handed, that would feel much more natural. Or you could spin it around this way. But I wouldn't want the water hanging off my fingertips. Personally, I think I'd be more likely to spill it. Maybe not. I don't know. Actually, let's see. Do 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 do. That does feel okay. Um, as opposed to how do I have it? I have it this way. I have it the opposite way. I feel like I need the stability of the water on the palm of my hand so it doesn't fall off. But that's good because you can arrange it the way that you want. So if you don't want to have the um, this arrangement of pans, you can pull these out. They have little um, like glue dots on the bottom of them. Urgh. So those little blue, those little blue dots, little glue dots. I suppose you could just leave it like that if you wanted to, but then you'd only have, or, well, if you wanted to have divided water, you could put water in there. But that really, that would make it difficult because you'd have to take your pans out, put them in there, then put your water in there. I don't think I would do that. Um, so if you want, you can get additional half pans. So the half pans that go in the portable painter products seem to be a tiny bit smaller. Now I'm assuming these are the same size that go in the original portable painter, which I have right here. Um, this pouch is new. I think maybe if you order one of the new portable painters, you would get the pouch. Mine didn't come with that pouch, but they sent this pouch along with the um, with the tiny little pan. So let's take a look at this. I've got, I've already, I've already crammed too much stuff in that pouch. Uh, so this is what the original portable painter is. This is my favorite travel palette. Um, you can see it's got a case around it. You slide off the little metal clip. This rubber band is there to hold your like hold your clip when you're using it. Like you're supposed to put this back on the case and like slide the clip in there so you don't like lose it in your travels. I think it'd be very easy to lose. I thought about putting a magnet on the case, but it's not a magnetic metal that's there. And so just like the the wings on the mini or the micro, you would slide the 
case onto the portable painter and that makes the, it makes a stand, it makes a rest to go over your legs. You can have two buckets of water, which I like. There's dips to hold your brush. It comes with a dual ended brush. And um, as you can see, this is well used, well loved. I uh, use it every summer and it comes with a dual ended brush. So you really don't need anything else with this. Uh, this I think runs closer to $30, but I'm telling you, it is worth the investment. It is uh, it is wonderful to have the two water buckets. I don't like to use water brushes that much. I'd much prefer to have actual water buckets. And where well, you can't have a lot of water having two pots, even if they're small pots of water, it keeps your paint so much fresher because you just always clean it in the dirty water and you always fill with the fresh water and it just keeps your paint so nice. But I'm wondering if I can pull out one of these. This one looks a little loose. If I can pull this out, I can compare and see if those new ones will fit because I'm not so sure. You know what? These do not fit the original portable painter. So I want, I'm glad I checked that. Uh, so if you get these, these are for the micro only. I just wanted to double check that. So with this configuration, you can have, um, you can't have three full pans. So that's something I was thinking. You could do three full pans or you could do six half pans or a combination. You can't do three full pans in here, but what you can do is, um, let's see if I could open this sucker up here. You could do two, you could do two full pans and two half pans. Or you could do like the three half pans and one full pan. I'm always out of ultramarine blue before everything else. So I'm like, I know I want a full pan of ultramarine blue. And then uh, I thought I might do a full pan of ultramarine blue, a full pan of burnt sienna, then cad yellow and rose red. And that would do good. That would be a good, um, a good fix. But I figured, well, I got a tube of the um, the core cobalt turquoise, thinking I would like it as much as a cobalt teal, which I don't. But I'm like, you know what? Let me get let me let me use it a bit. I bet I would like it if I used it a bit. And I found that the ultramarine blue and the cad yellow made a really beautiful sap green. So I was gonna have sap green in there, but I was like, no, that makes a really nice sap green when I put those two together. So I decided to do a green base blue that had some granulation because I like that personally. Um, I think this is a neat little rig. Um, I think it's a little it's a little tricky to hold and paint with, but um, definitely if you're gonna hold it and paint with it, I would get it situated in your hand first and then I would fill it up because, well, let's see. Let me pour this out because this is an accident waiting to happen. So yeah, when you're, it would be much easier to have this set up, have your sketchbook out then fill your water with preferably clean water and then start painting because it's kind of tricky to do it the other way around and then you could very gently remove that and dump it or you could probably just yeah you could just gently dump it because unlike the portable painter if you tried to dump your water while it was hooked on you would make a mess because you'd have two sides dumping out at once so that's not that big of a deal um so i think it was pretty thoughtfully designed it definitely feels like it's rugged and it's going to hold up quite a bit and um i enjoy painting with it i painted that with it that tutorial will be up on my channel shortly um so yeah, I like it. If you like tiny palettes, if you're looking for something ultra compact that you could fit in a pocket, definitely give it a try. So to put it all back together, you just pull off the, uh, you slide off the components, fold down the thumb ring, plop it into the container, and then just snap on the lid, and you, my friend, are good to go. There we go. You could tell which side there's like a little little uh, catch, the little half moon, little half moon catch that's, that goes on the edge with the uh, with the lid. Um, super high quality. Uh, just know that the, the if you can get extra pans for the original portable painter, but make sure you get them for this. I found that Windsor Newton pans are small enough, and also a lot of the generic pans that kind of come with a cheap. Um, watercolor sets on Amazon will fit this. So you just need those slightly smaller pans that bevel. The micro pans are flush on the bottom. So keep that in mind. Uh, I have actually, I think I've just been using the 12. I don't know if this one's an original one. Um, I can't remember, but um, yeah, I recommend this like 100%. I'd recommend this probably 80%. I would say if you're between the two, get this one. I know it's a little more expensive, but I've been using this. I don't know how many hours I've logged on this sucker, probably hundreds of hours on this. If, you know, maybe, maybe thousands, I don't know. Um, it's wonderful. I can't say enough about that, nice about that. This is great too. I would definitely not use it as much as the other one, but if I'm just doing a really quick trip somewhere, 
and you know maybe I'm on, on a bicycle or I'm, some, I'm hiking and I don't want to even bring that much the micro would definitely do the trick and it's also a kind of a fun way to put together different colors since you can get these extra little pans for it you could have you know you can make up kind of like a fun day palette um, you know something that you might not typically use together as combinations but take them out just for kind of like a fun little trip a fun day trip somewhere just to kind of wipe the dust off your off your artistic soul and uh and try something new and get inspired uh that's it's it's fun it's novel so i find these these palettes to be kind of novel these mini palettes but um, sometimes you need a little novelty in your life. So yeah, high quality, I recommend it. Um, I will link to the portablepainter.com website because I don't think you can just pick these up anywhere else. Um, so you can check it out and learn more and see if it's for you. Um, but definitely, without a doubt, if you do any plein air painting, definitely, definitely recommend this, especially if you like to paint the kayak because you could put this right over your leg and, um, and paint very comfortably in a kayak, which I do quite a bit in the summer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please give me a thumbs up before you go and stay tuned for that tutorial probably in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.